I still wore these when I had a hat on. Hello, creatures of the internet, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Let's resume. If I recall, and it has been quite a while, you know, the holidays and any tiny vacation, mental health vacation. Um, if I recall correctly, we explored Iduk and Taig. And we are on our way to Keridan's Cross. Yeah, we are in Keridan's Cross. This is where we left off. Uh, we started to explore Keridan's Cross. I am injured. Fuck. All right. Now we're gonna get ambushed here. I know we are. Yeah? Where are they? I know there's shrieks around here. Yep, yeah, there's one. At least they're easy shrieks. Ooh. Why do I always forget to check everybody's health? I'm... I'm so used to playing a different game. What is that? What is that? They're like two standing fireballs. I really don't want to walk any closer because that ogre is going to attack us. Yep, too late. <sighs> they might as well heal myself because I get attacked. Not enough. Not enough. Thank you. And I'm off. wanted to put my weapons away and I can't. Wrong game. This is gonna take a few minutes. To realize huh. what game I am playing. Before we go back and loot that body and stuff, there's some like a rubble pile? Yeah. I could have sworn that there were more shrieks here. What the hell? Apparently that's supposed to be water. It's very crystal clear. Nothing like cave water. I believe that's the way we're gonna go. I think there's something over here. Right? No? Just a dead end? Fine. I see how it is. Huh. Oh, He's not right. giving me my potions back. Of course, the chests aren't gonna and leave I'm me off. diddly squat. Isn't there a yeah, a rubble pile? The crosscut drifter is that what it said? That was just a codex. Oh man, we probably have so many codexes still to read. Oh, shall we do some of that quick? A little bit. We have one on creature. Ooh, it's Deep Stalker. A fool trusts his eyes. A wise man fears every rock is a Deep Stalker. 
Dwarven saying? Possibly the strangest of all the creatures found in the deep roads is the deep stalker. Tezpadam? Padam? I don't know how you want to pronounce that. As the dwarves call them, but in packs, generally by burrowing underground and then striking when they when their prey is in their midst. Stalkers come in several types. Spitters have venom glands and can spit secretions that slow or injure their prey. Jumpers hurl themselves at their targets, knocking them down and making the kill easier. The most common variety scares its prey, leaving the unfortunate victim helpless against the rest of the pact. Um... I don't recall the jumpers. Maybe that's just me. I really don't know how long I'm going to be able to play today. I'm feeling a little woozy. Okay, we still- oh, we do have chapter one. And we only have like- I guess we'll read this. History of Ferelden, Chapter 1. Ferelden, as we think of it now, did not exist before the Exalted Age. Instead, the valley was divided up into dozens of old Almamari clans. They warred constantly with one another over land, honor, the allegiance of the freeholders, and on one notable occasion, the name given to a favorite Mabari. Only the name? Not the dog? I have questions about that. And then, in the 33rd year of the Exalted Age, Kalanhad, Therian, became Terran of Denerim, and everything changed. Most of what we know about the founding of our nation comes from old songs that the bards passed down through the ages. The songs are filled with wild exaggerations and outright lies, but this hardly differs from the scholarly papers of some of my contemporaries. There is no agreement among poets or scholars on how he did it, but Kalanhad gained the support of the Circle of Magi and they crafted for him a suit of silvery white armor that by all accounts repelled both arrow and blade. Interesting. Oh, where did I leave off? Helen had led his army across the valley and captured Redcliffe, one of only three men who ever successfully laid siege to that fortress and presented himself to the bands of the landsmeet as their king. The poets tell us that every lord knelt before Callanhad without question. The fact that he attended the landsmeet surrounded by ash warriors and loyal mages of the circle is generally omitted from the ballads, however. From Callanhad came the line of Therian kings and queens who reigned uninterrupted until the 44th year of the Blessed Age. When the Orlesian invasion came, the rightful king was forced to flee Denerim, and for 70 years a puppet sat upon the throne. Hmm. It was probably a bad idea to lotion my hands because I can't grab my coffee. Geography of Ferelden. The kingdom of Ferelden is the southernmost civilized nation in Thetis. Although some scholars dispute that, cl that claim to civilization, it is perhaps the most physically isolated of all the kingdoms of Thetis. To the east is the Amaranthine Ocean. To the north, the Waking Sea. And to the south, 
The Kukari Wilds, which in the summer months are a vast heat bog, and in the winter become a treacherous labyrinth of iced over waterways. The Frostback Mountains guard the western border, and only a narrow plain between the mountains and the sea allows travel between Ferelden and Orlay. Which, if they haven't said before, Orlay is to the west. Um, I'm not sure why it's not mentioned here. They don't talk about the other countries, but this is geography of Ferelden, not Thetis, but still, in case you need to know where Orlay was, it was to the west. Most of the land in the central portion of the kingdom, called the Benoran, is open plains. These are crossed by the remnants of an ancient Tevinter highway that once connected Val Royo with Ostagar. Yeah. On the edge of the Kokari Wilds. The western part of Ferelden is dominated by Lake Kalinad, a huge caldera filled by the runoff of glaciers from nearby mountains. Lake Kalinad is home to the famed fortress of Redcliffe, as well as the Circle Tower, which houses Ferelden's Circle of Magi. In the east is the vast Brazilian forest, which the superstitious locals profess to be haunted, and from which rises the Dragon's Peak, a solitary mountain that guards the capital city of Denerim. Denerim's to the northeast. Oh, now we're going to talk about the Orlesian Empire. There are many lords and ladies in Val Royo, and I mean this literally. Once the system of noble titles in Orlay was labyrinthine, there were barons and bern bernorns and bernets and sir barons and a horde of others. They're all the fucking same thing if you ask me. Each with its own origins and its own nuisances of... Is it nuisance or nonsense? I, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce shit or how they're spelled. <laughs> of comparison, the Orlesian aristocracy... Just, just shoot me already. <laughs> is ancient and much given to competition. All the nobility play the grand game. As it is known, whether they wish to or not, we do learn um, more about the grand game in Inquisition, actually. It is not a game, unless you're into that kind of uh, horrible shit, I guess, if you want to call it. It is a game of reputation and patronage where moves are made with rumors and scandal in the chief weapon. No gentle game, this more blood has been drawn as a result of the grand game than any war the Orlesians have fought. Of this, I am assured by almost every gentleman here. Oh, it's terrible. You, you know what? I think they do talk a little bit more about it in Inquisition, so yeah, talk about it then. As far as titles went, everything changed with the coming of Emperor Draken, who established the Orlesian Empire as it exists now. And who created the Chantry? There is no more vener venerated figure in Orlais, in Val Royo. The statue of Draken stands as tall as the statue of Andraste. Draken determined that the grand game was tearing Orlesia, or lay, apart. So he abolished all titles besides his own and lord and lady. I am told with some twittering amusement that this action did not end the grand game as Draken had intended. 
No. No, it did not. Now the lords and ladies elected unofficial titles rather than official ones, such as the exalted patron of Tassus Clay or uncle to the champion of Treme Tremes? I don't know. It is a headache to remember such titles, and one winces to think of the poor doormen at the balls who must rattle them off as each guest enters the room. Again, Inquisition. We'll learn more about that, and it's hilarious. The aristocracy. Cra the <laughs> Whatever. I'm done trying to pronounce it. I can't pronounce shit. It is different from Pereldin in other ways as well. The Orlesians' right to rule stems directly from the Maker. There exists neither the concept of rule by merit, nor the slightest notion of rebellion. If one is not noble, one aspires to be, or at least aspires to be in the good graces of a noble, and is ever watching for a way to enter the patronage of those better placed in the grand game. Yeah, it's a shit show. Even if, like, you don't have a noble title, but you're, like, invited to the palace for whatever reason. Oh yeah, you better act like a noble, because... Yeah. It's a shitty game. You could do so much damage. And then there are the masks and the cosmetics. I have not seen so much paint since the kennels at High Ever, but that is another story. So yeah, um, during these balls, they wear masks and they do paint themselves up so that nobody knows who they are, which kind of almost defeats the purpose. But then at the same time, you know who they are. They introduce themselves, so it's like, What's the point of the mask, then? There is so much. The Blights. My dear Annika, I would not worry about the assembly. Let the nobles sit together and argue over whose house owns the grandest taig. This must have been before. It keeps them from panicking, which, which they would surely do otherwise, and prevents them from making a greater nuisance of themselves. War is the business of warriors. I would say that the enemy's strategies seem to be changing, but they never appeared to have a strategy before, beyond destroying everything in their path. For weeks, their numbers appeared to be dwindling. There was the talk that perhaps we were getting close to wiping them out. We could not have been more wrong. For today, we came upon the body of their main force. I cannot give words to it, Annika. I have never before seen so much death in one place. There were darkspawn beyond counting, and at the heart of the throg a great beast as tall as the palace of Orzammar, with breath of fire, a paragon of darkspawn, perhaps for they seemed to pay it defense, deference? They were leaving, marching toward the mine shafts, which led to the surface. But I knew when I beheld them that once they have devoured what lies above us, they will be back. Letters of Paragon Idukin. Hmm. There was a Paragon in the Idukin clan? Legend of the Juggernaut. The arm of the Imperium is long. Once it reached even this forest, in a time when the barbarian tribes of the Cl Clan... Clanin? I don't know. Still ruled the land. The Tevinter Magisters fought to take it from them. 
from them inch by inch, if need be, using terrible magic. The Magister... Rock brought an army to this forest, led by Alaric, his friend and general. For Alaric, Rock fashioned a suit of the finest armor, infused, infused it with lyrium and his own blood magic, and named it Juggernaut. After the unstoppable giant golems guarding the gates of Minrathos, thus armed did uh, Alaric win many victories against the Laney. I don't know how you want to pronounce that. When defeat came, it came from within. Alaric's own lieutenants rose up against him, jealous of the favor he had curried with the magisters and eager to take the juggernaut armor from him. Alaric was slain, and as each su successor gained the armor, the other lieutenants turned against him instead. The Tevinter outpost fell to vicious infighting. In a fury, Magister Herak voyaged to the outpost and slew the last three lieutenants. The Kleine? Kleine? I don't know. However, were already approaching the outpost in force. The barbarian chieftain of the, whatever you want to call it, desired the fabled armor himself, and even with all his power, Herak could not hope to stand against them all. Instead, Herak used the last of his own life force to cast a spell of blood magic that bound demons to the bodies of the three dead lieutenants, as well as Herak's own lifeless corpse. These bound revenants hid the pieces of the juggernaut armor, and although the barbarians sacked the outpost, the chieftain found neither the armor nor the revenants. The juggernaut armor's legend lives on, uh, I don't know, and more than one brave soul has ventured into the depths of the Brazilian forest in search, never to return. It doesn't say that they were taken to the Brazilian forest. It just says it right here, which it was. We found it. All of it. Redcliffe. King Callanhead Therene. I still don't think I'm pronouncing his last name wrong. Once famously declared the fate of Redcliffe is the fate of all of Ferelden. Certainly, the castle is the first and last defense for the Soul Land route into Ferelden, and the country has never fallen to any force that did not first capture Redcliffe. The castle, which despite being three times captured, is popularly... popularly... I just... I just can't today. Described as un... Asylable? Is it unsalable? Also guards one of the largest and most preposterous towns in Ferelden. Redcliffe Village is well situated near the mountain pass to Orzammar and the Orlesian border, and so serves as a center of foreign trade. For these reasons, Redcliffe is accounted an Arling despite the smallness of the domain. The inhabitants of Redcliffe Village are primarily fishermen or merchants who ship dwarven goods through the pass from Orlais to Dunerum. When the entire village smells of smoked fish on certain late autumn mornings, the merchants in their finery do their utmost to pretend otherwise. What? Why? I don't understand. What are are you they saying they can't stand the smell of smoked fish? Or what? Oh, that's right, we cannot read that one. 
We cannot read that one because we don't have the first two. I mean, I can read them. I just would rather have the first two chapters. And the first chapter of those. Uh, let's read the Legion of the Dead and then continue on our way. Yes, Stone's greeting, friend. You will fight ceaseless, ceaselessly in the Legion of the Dead. The Legion accepts all. So I was told by one of the Legionnaires himself, a dwarf who waited quietly at the entrance to the Deep Roads, for the rest of his unit to assemble. They gathered slowly, each equipped with heavy armor and fine weapons, each painted with grim tattoos, applied at their funerals the night previous. That is just weird. For that is the nature of the Legion. They are all dead. No, they're not. Any dwarf may join the Legion, so as long as he is willing to give up everything he has. The funeral rites are somber. A final goodbye is said to family and loved ones. Any material goods are dispersed to heirs and last words are said. And then it is done. The new Legionnaire marches out into the deep roads, never to return. The Legion fights against the Darkspawn to the last striking one final blow against the monsters that have claimed so much of their homeland. Many join the Legion to clear the slate. Criminals join to avoid punishment. The dishonored join so that their houses and family need not suffer on their behalf. The bankrupt join so their debts might be forgiven. A very few join for a last chance at glory, but the Legion takes them too. This group hopes to reach the fabled fortress of Baunamur, once the Legion's home. Associated with the greatest of their paragons, Baunamur is a holy place. It's lost the last great blow against the dwarven kingdoms, and its recapture would be a glorious signal to all of Orzammar. But capture it, or no, all of these warriors will die in the deep roads. It is a sobering thought, and I now know why the dwarves say the legions charge in the battlefield, or charge is the battlefield's most frightening sight. They have nothing left to lose. Imagine if all armies were like that. They held a funeral, said their goodbyes to anyone they knew, and just charged in with nothing left to lose. How many of the, like, real-life people can say that they have nothing left to lose? That they would fight a senseless war? Got some statue. We got two ways to go. Except that, uh, Pronto. That's what it was. And we just got a codex. I didn't read that because I was too busy looking at that damn Pronto. Yes. And the crosscut drifters. Okay, this goes out. So... I guess we're gonna go fight that Bronto. And some Darkspawn. Why does Darkspawn have a Bronto? Oh, right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Leave me something. You did. That was it. Yeah. Okay, we got another road marker and some dark spawn that are running away. Why are they running away? Go. Now we get our hats dirty. 
They just fucking ran away. Okay. Whatever, we'll read this road marker. The translation of this plague plaque reads Sing praises to the stone, may her arms be ever open to us. Alright, we can go straight or we can go right. Hmm. I think they all lead back here, so we're gonna go right. You know what I just realized? Nobody can see anything. Because I'm an idiot. Don't worry, you didn't miss much. Literally. And, uh, we have a nice view of Shale's ass. She has a butt crack, mind you. The fact that she even has a butt. Anyway. What you didn't see is these little darkspawn fuckers running away into the tunnel here. More darkspawn. Go <laughs> Great. There is our shriek. Oh, you little bastard. I'm not paying attention. It didn't go far. Topsiders honor. Holy hell, dude, you need that. Yes. So. Was that a weapon, or what was that? I did not see what that was, like the idiot that I am. Oh no, it's a hilt, okay. It's probably something we have to put together, or it- Well, it did say it was a quest, so... I don't know. Yeah? I hear you. Great. Three and an ogre that's about to uh, throw a rock at us that I'm gonna walk away from. Ah. Oh, friendly fire is possible. Oh. I am ready. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna get to himself. <laughs> oh, you little bastards. believe it actually put me down what I didn't put you down you didn't die what are you talking about yes 
fractured stone way on the other side of that wall. How odd. Oh. Save often. Yeah? Yeah, it's like right over here or something. Okay, yeah, it's just a shortcut to... This looks like the right way out. Horton Tig. Okay, Won't thanks. Be long now. All right. On the side of the statue, someone has scraped the words. Aromont is a dust lover. Really? Who the hell came down here for that? The translation of this plaque reads. Our past is wrought with lost roads, mines, tigs. And homes consumed by the horrors of an endless war. You know, I wish they would leave it up there long enough for you to fucking read it. No. No. It's too, it's too hard. Why would they do that? Alright, we got a right path as well but let's go this uh, no, you know what no we're gonna go right it looks like a dead end but it's not Trap. a small so simple to see really bloody sack can i there we go <laughs> Did they kill all these deep stalkers? It's your time to die. Time to Speaking of deep stalkers. Why is this deep stalker following me? Alright, let's touch the bloody sack. Or so in a bag. Thanks. Thanks, Mom, for leaving me a torso in a bag for lunch. Don't ask. And I'm off. All the deep stars. I wish they wouldn't make cute noises. Deep Stalker Leader? Let's take him out. I really wish they wouldn't make such big ass noises. We done? First one to kill it gets the prize. No, we have we have more. Huh. Ah, 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 Where are all these little deep stalkers coming from? Oh, Deep Stalker Matriarch. Ooh. He has little, uh. She. Matriarch is a woman. 
Uh, must be the mother who's laying all these eggs. She's got really cool coloring. Except I don't really like looking at their faces. Because it looks like it's missing a head from this angle. And it's got little fingers. Another battle yes. The sounds it's making is too cute. Someone tell them to stop hitting me! No, not win! Hi, cute little thing. Sarcophagus. Knockback arrows? No thanks. She left us something. Why... Where did this deep stalker keep chain mail? I don't understand. Okay, so this is a dead end. So we'll have to make our way back. I just got a good look at Shale's ass again. Glass phylactery, huh? Mm. So you can turn into animals, eh? Like cats and wolves? Uh -oh. When the desire strikes me. Have you ever, uh, you know, went in to venter? That's a most curious little mind you have, Dwarf. And what if I had? Would that thought comfort you during your lonely nights? Uh, have you ever changed during? Why are you suddenly asking me this? How do we know you're truly a woman, or even a human? You could be a chip mouse, or a nug. <laughs> Imagine that. Why, yes, I am actually a nug in human form. I have come to observe your kind. <laughs> Nugs are good with extra sauce. I'm just saying. This is why I love having Agrin in my company. What was he implying? Has she ever turned into what? And then changed during what? Sex? That's what it sounded like he was trying to say. I don't think I've ever seen that conversation between them two. That's hilarious. All right, we're gonna make a horrible decision among the jumble of containers, there is a glit of something different. A small glass phylactery sits conspicu conspicuously on its own. The area is unnaturally cold. Dark shapes swirl around a slip of paper within the vial. Take the vial. The glass fractures at your touch. Well, at least it's by itself, yeah? Now we get our hands <laughs> Oh, right. <boy. laughs> Run while you yes. can. We'll have a smashing time. <laughs> <laughs> it hurt. Wipe them out. Oh, who wants to fight? <laughs> Now this should be fun. Yeah, I figured it would resist that. Yeah, you like that? Oh. Ha -ha. <laughs> Run while you can. <laughs> is that all my blood? I it think is. It is. It is. Actually, that's not. I don't know what that is. All right, what did he have on him? Diddly squat. Thanks. Thanks for crap.
I wanted crap. Yeah? Another road marker up here. Two of them, I'm not sure why that one's not saying anything. Huh. Let's see. It looks like the words on this plaque have been changed several times. The translation reads Paragon Elohim died to lay these stones. Yeah, what's this one say? And I'm off. The translation of this plaque reads Those who return to Orzammar's embrace be sheltered. Hmm. Never any shortage of these ones. <laughs> you are going to be a pain in my ass. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Direct me. Another point for me. <laughs> yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> She can heal. <laughs> Find me. Do again. Sure. We're going to need that real soon. I guess. All right. Pick up all the crap. Going. The drifter's cash. Don't 
Don't look now. Huh. And I'm off. Path right there, too. We'll come back. What does this say? Going. The words on this statue are too damaged to read. From what? And I'm off. What you can make out, it seems there was a memorial to a child paragon? The words on the statue are too damaged to read. A totem? I don't think I've ever seen that gift before. Trap. So simple to see, really. Oh, right. What? Why is there a barrel like that? I don't understand. All right. So there's one area off here that we can go explore. And then, I assume, we move on. Or deep stalkers. This one's a spitter. Well, I think that that could have been worse. Just the one. Oh, now, what that's what I that? thought. Why does it always sound like this? Okay, I may have brought too many to my side. I just heard Shale say squish. Runestone? Huh. Codex on shapers. Oh, right. More life stones. More deep stalkers. Oh, there was a bunch that appeared behind us. No? Why do these guys never leave me anything? Oh, hey, look, another bloody sack. Now we have a head in a bag. New quest, Asunder. Ooh, what do we got here? Yes. Great sword. Also a dead end and a fractured stone. Hmm. Now what is that? More deep stars. That's what that is.
All right, let's get out of this little area. I assume we have to deep. I assume it matters which one we go out, but I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. We'll see, though. We'll see. Okay, no, the answer is you no. heading back to the city. We won't siding find Branca going that way. Shut up, Ogren. I understand. I do. I really do. I didn't want to go back to the city, but what's my inventory look like? Oof. I lied. We are going back to the city. And I'm off. I need to unload. Have you seen my lunch? It is. No. I'm, I'm only asking because you. Right. Uh. All these shitty darkspawn weapons and cares. I'm not sure how many garnets we need. It's probably worthless. We're just gonna destroy it. Alright, I need to make more potions. What can I make? I can make some greater. Let's make a few more of these. Out of deep mushroom. We're stocked up. Let's go. Going. It's going to be one hell of a travel back from one side of that map to the other.
I'm kind of curious if each of those exits go in a different area. I can't remember if they do or don't. I sure wish I could run faster. Where this one goes. If it doesn't give us a new map, we'll have to go the other one. So it is the other one. It wouldn't let me click there. Okay, so this is the there way we're supposed to There was a man in the village who reminded me of the drunken dwarf. They had some dwarves just like me, huh? <laughs> no, none of the dwarves were similar. They were quiet and respected, more or less. No, the one I remember was a human. He vomited in the street constantly. Then he wandered into a snowstorm and froze to death. Huh? And how was that like me? Did I say similar? I meant I hoped he was similar. I think I had a wife like you once. How many times has Ogrim been married, I wonder? Uh... Okay, yeah, this leads to Orton Tig. There it is. By the tits of my ancestors, Wartan Tig. I never thought I'd see this place in the flesh. I can see Bronca all over this place. She always took chips from the walls at regular intervals when she was in a new tunnel. Checked their composition. If she was still here, though, she'd have centuries out by now. What if Bronca and everyone died? What can you tell me about these ruins? This was Keridin's home tide. He was an Orton before he got raised to Paragon. Even stayed here when he could have had his own house. I guess he didn't want to move his people to Boonamar. Okay, it's Boonamar. Uh, what's Boonamar? The city of the dead. Keridin built it to honor the Legion of the Dead, but... It was more like a sodding mausoleum than anything. Of course, that was all before he built the anvil. After that, he was the city's pet genius until he angered the king and fell into disfavor. Uh, so there was a city here, and you have no idea where this anvil is. No, no, there was a taig here. The Orton Taig. Bunamar is north and west of here. But that's not important, or at least I hope it isn't. The City of the Dead is known as the Dead Trenches since the Darkspawn conquered it. Much of the Legion was destroyed when the fortress fell. We will get to explore the Dead Trenches. Sort of. Alright, let's get Couldn't going. I said it better myself. Shale, why are you way over there? 
Make a nice hard save here just in case. And we're gonna take a quick bathroom break because coffee makes you pee. Earrings out of the way. Let's see, what time is it? Oh man. I await your I command. did not want to talk to you. I'm sorry. Okay. We're gonna explore a little bit, maybe for another half an hour. I do have some things I need to do. You couldn't hurt me if you wanted to, which you know that it Tis so. Dwarves resist magic, woman. There's nothing you could do. Nothing? Hmm. I could not, for instance, kick you in your manhood. Oh, ho. Oh. <laughs> do you wish to see? Uh, not necessary. Well, the offer stands. Okay, I have never seen that one either. That's hilarious. Please, do. Kick him in the penis. I like how they have to call it manhood because I'm pretty sure that the term penis was not there. Otherwise, I would be using it. Here comes the Everybody's favorite. Giant spiders. Stop webbing me, please, for the love of God. I hate spiders. And more just keep coming. Thanks. Thanks. Did I mention how much I love spiders? And I'm off. I'd like to know why some of these creatures have the strangest things on them, like that one just had 11 silver and 93 copper. Why? I don't understand. Death to all pigeons! There are no pigeons here, my dear. There is, however, an ogre fighting against... 
several spiders. We're gonna get webbed by one. And I'm gonna get mobbed to death. That's the one that was mauling me to death. Now this should be fun. Yes. If you insist. Alright. Hey, I'll be taking the loot now. There's more way over there. I'm gonna let them do their thing. We'll uh, go into this dead end. And loot what's ever over here. While they take care of whatever they're doing. Oh. Warrior's Grave. And, and a I'm fractured off. stone. That's all that's over here. We do have to come back here for that grave. Alright, who's winning this battle here? Apparently the spiders. That is a, a bad spider. That is a bad spider? Stop saying pigeons. There's no pigeons. Archbond corpse. Fractured stone. Or <sighs> spiders. Almost never happen. <sighs> They keep webbing all over me. Not bad. Are you serious? That shriek came all the way over here. Oh, just bark at me like a dog. New tactic. Passing out. Did he just say passing out? Huh. New tactic, passing out. That shriek was guarding something over here. What is it? Just a regular old chest. With 22 silver in it. And well, however many coppers, I didn't see. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? Come back here. for that shit. You know what? You can walk into it. I can do it. I still get... I shall do it. Not in time, won't we? You like that? me. I should 
not have wasted well. that. Hmm. Right, you have a significant oh. amount of... What? Shut up. Shale, don't complain. We're just making sure you weren't horribly injured or mutilated or... Hmm. Oh, boy. making all these weird noises. I see. Why do I keep not paying attention to my own character? Time to die! Do you keep hurting so bad? Hmm? You're as bad as Alistair. Now we get our hands dirty. I shall do it. Down you go. Death sounds. Broken chest over there. That's the path we would have came out of. Of course. Of course. More spiders. Yes. <laughs> Can I loot this? No? Are there birds nearby? We should look for them and destroy them. Really random. Of course. Dirty spiders. Huh. I could have sworn he said something, but he just ran away and screamed. Oh, we found something. There's supposed to be spiders here. Pretty sure there was. There's nothing for you here. It's mine. I've claimed it. And how do you propose to eject me? Who are you? What are you doing down here? Claimed it. Are you part of the clan who lived here? The clan? No. But it's still mine! Ruck's been here for years now, and no shiny surfacer will take him away. Bah, he's a bloody scavenger. 
good as sod and gone. Be gone, you! You'll bring the Dark Ones back, you will. They'll crunch your bones. Word has it you could only survive down here by eating the Dark Spawn dead. I mean, you could probably eat Deep, deep Stalker or Nugs. Darkspawn blood is poison. Men have died from drinking it. Really? Why would they do that? That's disgusting. Yeah, why would they? It brings the taint. Turns their brains to sewage. But it hides them from the Darkspawn. Well, if you need to dispose of Darkspawn bodies after the Blight. It's my claim, not yours! Crunch your bones! Okay, there's the spiders. Why is that one... That one's had a little too much to drink. He's a little... But where... Is there like a spider queen? No? Okay, fine. Oh, look, it wants to fight. Ah. I am your... That and I die because of that. Thanks, guys. That's a great stop. Look at that. Those are the cartooniest spider eyes I've ever seen. Yeah, she's gonna die. Why can you not do this one? She died. Did he apparently? And I'm about to die as well. Last time we saved was. But. Fuck. Man. But I'm all out of time. I hope you all enjoyed part 21, and I'll see you all next time. Maybe. I should learn to push keys and pay attention to my characters and not die. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Until we meet again.